Hey guys, I came here back with some more magic. We're going to revisit the self mill deck today. So let's uh, have a look at the opening hand. We have two lander and we have a double wayfinder. So we don't have any black and only single white and a single blue. But like I said, we got the double wayfinder. We're on the play. That will start the graveyard building process and uh, and fix our mana. So I mean, I think this is pretty great. Uh, so let's just uh, let's start off with a seaside citadel and pass it over to Master Hungus 420, the mentor. So. Um, Got a spider spawning here, so you know we're going to build the graveyard, and this is a, a nice defensive card. We've also got Crater Hoof in the deck, if you remember. Soothsayer is one of the new additions from the uh, from the expansions. Great card in this list. So uh, we definitely want to get some black mana if we can. Um, the deck does have triple white requirements. Uh, I think the only double blue card is Archeomancer. I, I haven't played this deck since I last recorded with it, so I'm a bit rusty on it. Not that I was ever that great with it in the first deck. This uh, in the in the first case, this deck actually takes you know a little bit of practice here. So uh, we need black mana. This Seaside Citadel doesn't provide it, so we will take the Opulent Palace here. And now we have double blue and double white. And uh, triple green. I don't think we need triple green, though, unless we want to hardcast Crater Hoof, I guess. But anyway, it's passing on over to Hungus there. He's uh, started with an Orzhov Guildgate into Swamp, so he could be playing the Life Gain deck. He, he, uh, he plays the Viscopa Guildmage, so yeah, it looks like he's playing the Life Gain deck. So uh, we're going to do one of two things. We're going to Hoof him. Which uh, you know should beat the life gain, or we're just going to mill out our entire deck and lab maniac him, which doesn't care about life total. So uh, I don't think the life gain is going to be too scary unless he starts making the four four angels off Angelica Court or drain another life total with Sanguine Bond. So those are the two cards that are the the scariest ones in here. But for now, let's just play another Wayfinder, and let's see. We've uh, we need more white and more black. Um, since we can't get white, we can get black, so that's what we will get. No need to play the basic on this turn, though, since we don't have a, uh, a one mana play, so let's just play the tap land. And uh, we'll send it back on over. See, uh, see if he's got the old Faith Mender. No, it's, uh, that's a turn early for that. Excuse me. Uh, he's got three mana in the life gain. It could have Tribute to Hunger. That's not going to be very good against us. We've got a lot of cheap little creatures. You know, if he wants to attack, we can double block. And uh, he doesn't have a play. Okay, that's fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. We picked up a Wall of Omens. Question is, do I want to play that? Or do I want to play this Necromancer's Assistant? We've already got a half-decent graveyard here. You know, but I've got the Treasured Find in hand. And, I mean, the the card that really makes this deck tick is, uh, is Seance. So, uh, I think playing Assistant and going, you know, shooting for a Seance in the grave is uh, probably where we want to be. Plus, it lets us uh, make this spawning better. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and just mill three here. Plus we can actually start attacking with that. We've got the Lab Maniac in the graveyard. That's good. We never want this in our hand. Uh, but we dropped two more land in here. I think we have five land in here now. So that's uh, that's a lot of land in the graveyard. We might have some uh, might have some troubles drawing it. But here it is. It's only the fourth turn. We've got uh, you know only 39 cards left in our library. So we've seen uh, more than a third of our deck. You know, the speed of the self mill in this deck really makes Treasured Find such a great card here. Now, here comes the Angelica Course. That's that's the card I really didn't want to see. I mean, we've got the Spiders. I guess Sanguine Bond is worse because he can go straight to my life total and, uh, you know, not have to worry about any of that uh, blocking stuff. He can get right over the Spider Army. So here we've got uh, Elvis Visionary and Wall of Omens. First thing I'm going to do, though, is attack with the 3-1. Uh, this deck is not going to win through combat damage, but it's still, uh, you know, I still think that we should uh, should be attacking. You never know that the spider spawning could represent lethal if we get enough of them onto the board. Let's we'll see if he wants to trade here. I highly doubt that he does. All right, let's play visionary. Make sure we leave up white mana. We do on the citadel, so that way we can cast the wall of omens. So there we'll draw one. It is a sand step citadel. That's good. We can get that into play. And then play Wall of Omens. Draw another one. Alright, so we're gonna have the Soothsayer next turn. Uh, got two treasure finds now, which is uh, which is really, really good. Anything in here that we want? Uh, I guess I could treasure find a Hedron Crab. He's going to assassinate. That doesn't bother me. Because that means he's not gaining life this turn and, and making angels. You know, I've got the Shadowborn in here that I can go grab. Uh, other than that, it's just a whole pile of land. There's a planar cleansing there, so if things get out of hand, I can treasure find a cleansing. So here's a wayfinder. 
Here's a Wayfinder. I'm actually going to Wayfinder here be, rather than Soothsayer. Or should I just... Oh, well, the thing I'm... I want Seance is what I want. So if I Wayfinder and bin it, I can pick it up. But if I Soothsayer, I can just pick it up straight into my hand. So I will Soothsayer. Because then I won't have to burn a treasure to find out. Yeah, that's a better play, I think. Do we see a seance? Four fucking land. Oh my god. Anyway, let's take Sanctum, I suppose. Wow, I mean, this is crazy. You might land in the graveyard. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight land in the graveyard. So that means there's only 16 left. And we've got six of those. Wow. Anyway, just going to sit back here. Not going to swing in with the uh, the wounds. I suppose maybe I should be attacking with the one ones just to make the spider spawning a little bit better. But I'd rather save them as jump blockers. So let's see. I mean, if I were to spawn now with a graveyard this big, I think I'd only get four. I would only get four spiders. Wow. That's it, though. He's on six mana now. Yeah, so if he, if he ever plays a Sanguine Bond, I'm going to have to treasure find that, that Planar Cleansing. Because uh, I don't think Sanguine Bond is a card that I can let stick on the battlefield for too long without dying to it. He hasn't gained any life yet, though. Which is the really weird thing. All we've seen is Assassinate, Angelica Gord, and the uh, and the Guild Mage plus you know plus his six lands. He hasn't missed a drop. So he's going to activate the whenever you lose life ability. Maybe he's going to cast a Lone Missionary here now. And uh, you know, ding us for four, create an angel, put a Piker on the board. No, he's going to Vicious Hunger, a Visionary. So he's going to gain two life, and that's going to that's going to burn us for two life. Which is fine, that's not enough to uh, trigger his Angelica Court over there. So now he's just got a 2-2. Cool with that. Alright, a Hedron Crab, okay. Let's, uh, let's Wayfinder. And let's see what goes in the bin here. Still, there's a Seance, okay. There's a Gravedigger and a Necromancer's Assistant, plus we'll pick up this Opulent Palace. Now we've got to make sure we've got black green open. We do, so we're going to play the crab. We're going to play the opulent palace. Move ourselves for three, and then treasure find. Sands. All right, so now we've got the sands in hand. Let's see how many more creatures we put in there. Uh, do we attack here? I think so. You know what? I'm going to attack with everybody. Since I've got the spider spawning in hand, he can block one of those uh, those one ones. It'll just go in the graveyard for seance, and it'll make a spider. So there we go. Do that. So let's have a look how many creatures are in here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's ten in here now. Our spider spawning is really good. But we're gonna play the seance obviously first. He could be playing angelic edict in his deck possible that we play the seance and he just nukes it, that would really suck. He's on seven mana now, I really wouldn't want to see a Runescar Demon. <coughs> oh my, excuse me. So I guess, I mean, uh, we've still got the... I mean, I can hardcast a Runescar Demon now myself. I've got the mana for it when I untap. Perhaps that's the way to go, but I, I think seance is the... Uh, I think seance is the play. You know, we've got Archaeomancer here in the graveyard. We can seance an Archaeomancer and get back our Planar Cleansing for free. So he's going to uh, cast Covenant of Blood. That deals 4 damage, I think, and he gains 4 life. And he's going to aim it at the Hedron Crab, so he's getting rid of that. He's gained 4 life. Uh, so that's going to get him an Angel off his Angelic Accord, so... I mean, I'm still on 18. I, I can afford to seance here. I'm not in that much danger yet. Not in that much danger. So... I don't, I don't treasure to find a Hedron Crab here. I've got a Gravedigger in the graveyard. I can just get a Hedron Crab back when I seance that Gravedigger, so... So, yeah. Let's do that. I'm not going to play the land, though. I'm going to save that for, uh... I'm going to save that for when I had the Hedron Crab back in play. So let's just pass it over. And let's see what we want to seance here. I mean, uh... Probably just going to be a Wayfinder. And just build a graveyard some more. Grab a land. Only one choice. Crater Hoof is in here now. 
So it's possible that uh, I've got three creatures plus the hoof. Maybe I'll just... Uh, I'll probably just spawn on this turn and kill him next turn. That's, uh, that's the plan, anyway. And if he has an answer for all that, then we'll uh, then we'll go off with the lab maniac. He's playing a life gain deck, though. He could have suffered the past. Now here's the sanguine bond. Here is the sanguine bond. So he can give his four four life link with the uh, scope of guild mage. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. So now he's going to swing for four. Uh, it's going to hit us for four, and then the sanguine bond is going to hit us for four, and he's going to get a four four angel. So I think I have to blow up the board now. It's unfortunate, but I think I have to blow up the board. He's down to one card in his hand, but we're going to go down to ten life. Do we have Resolute in the graveyard? We do have her in the graveyard, though. I don't want to take any chances, though. I'm just, you know, he's got one card in his hand. He's tapped out. He's got his two main enchantments on the board, so I'm just going to uh, Seance and Archaeomancer here. Yes, yes, I do want to do that, and I want to pick up this Planar Cleansing. And, uh, let's just swing with the team. We'll get at least one point of damage through. Not that it matters, but, you know, just because we can. We're going to blow up the board anyway. It's a shame that, uh, you know, it's a shame we're going to blow up that sounds, but we can just go get it back. Not this turn, though, unfortunately, because I didn't play out that land. So that's, uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Well, he's letting us have two damage, so now we're just going to blow everything up. And play Arcane Sanctum. Alright, so the Crater Hoof is... No, it's still on the table. It's going to be a little bit slower. I mean, we might end up winning with the uh, the Lab Maniac faster. He's on 9 mana now. Really, really would not want to see Suffer the Past. Obviously, that's kind of a hard counter to this deck. I won't say a hard counter, but it's a very, very strong option that he has. Um, so I think I just spawn, honestly. I think I just spawn here. And then go get the Seance back and cast that next turn. So there's a lot of spiders. Um, so let's treasure to find the Seance. And get that back in our hands. Play a palace. And pass it back. So now how many spiders do we have? It's at 16, so. I mean, he's dead in a couple of turns to those. I don't know if he's playing Planar Cleansing in his deck or not. But if he is, he's gonna have to uh, he's gonna have to pop that pretty soon. Cause I'm just gonna kill him with spiders. Might be how this game ends up. All right, well then, Necromancer's assistant. Let's just get the seance. He's gonna tribute to hunger. Sure, dude. I lose a spider. You gain two life. That's cool. Let's just get the seance into play. Let's. Uh, Mill out three more. And then let's Visionary. I am going to hoof him if I get the chance just to do a massive fuck ton of damage. So let's uh, let's draw a character. And let's put that into play and swing for 15, take him to 9. Take him down to 9. So like you say, with one card in his hand, he's got his top deck. He had better find a planet cleansing, or there's really nothing he can do. So how how dead am I to planar cleansing? You know, if my seance is gone, I've got another one in the deck. I don't think the other one is in the graveyard yet. I don't think my other seance is in here, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to draw that. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't see a seance there. So one card in his hand. He's on nine life. He's probably just going to leave the game. I doubt. Oops, it's me. I'm sorry. Whoopsie daisy. That was my fault. I'm making fun of him. But uh, yeah, let's just, uh, you know, let's exile suits there since we get to pick the card. And there is. Well, we'll get another suits there. Why not? Down to seven. He's going to solemn offering the seance. So, wow, I don't get to. Uh, I don't get to Crater Hoof this turn, but I do get to just fucking kill him. I do get to do that. Yeah, he's gone. Alright, okay. He's gone. Alright, well, let's Soothsayer here. Let us get that Seance. There it is. 
And let's put it into play. Let's play land. We're not going to attack here. We're going to give him one shot, just for fun. See if the AI can top deck and suffer the past. Uh, we are going to mill out the rest of our deck and do the whole lab maniac thing when we untap. So yeah, he's got one shot here. So let's just mill out the deck. Got nothing. If it's a suffer the past, he can uh, he can exile the lab maniac in response to the seance trigger. But once I press yes, that's the end of that. So lab maniac is way up here. Let's press Y. Targeting the lab maniac. Would you like to win the game? Well, yes, we would. Absolutely, we would. Well, thank you. A to win the game. Love it. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you for some more gameplay tomorrow.